All right, guys, welcome back to tutorial number 16. And in this video, we are going to be learning about farms. Now, let's consider this example. You go to a hospital for some reason, and there you're given a form to input your details. Now, if you go to a website, let's say Facebook, then you have a registration form where you have to input your name, email, password, and then click on a submit button. Or let's say in some other website, you have to enter a feedback form. So let's say you have to provide your comments. So basically what a form is, is, is that a form is used to collect input from a user. Now there are two steps when dealing with forms though. And the first step is to accept input from the user. And then the second step is to process that input data. Now in this, in this video series, we are going to be learning only the first step, which is learning the different ways that we can accept input from a user with the help of forms. And the second step of processing the input, it calls for some kind of a scripting language that we have not learned yet. So we are going to be focusing on only accepting the input from the user. All right, so to create a form, to accept input data, we need to use a form tag. So let me just quickly save this file as, let's say, forms.html. And let me quickly remove the h3 tag and the list. Okay, so to create a form, we are going to be using the form tag. Now, let's say we want to create a registration form. So to accept any kind of input from the user, we need to include a tag called input tag. Now this input tag is going to take an attribute called type, which is going to decide the way how we are going to accept the, accept the input from the user. Now let's say we want to accept the username from the user. Let's say we want to accept the username. So for that, we need to specify the type as text and then we are going to have to give a name to our input tag now this name is going to be used while processing the input but for now let's let's just say this is uname now to give a label to this particular form input let's say this is going to be username so that the person visiting the website or filling this form knows what exactly to fill inside if you go ahead and save it, let me quickly open forms.html. Then there you go. You have a label called username where you can start typing the username. So you can type whatever you want. Now, there is an additional attribute where you can specify the size of the input. So the attribute is called size. And if we give it, let's say, let me give it three so that you can understand the difference. So when we save it and reload it, you see that the input has been reduced. Now, it doesn't mean that you can enter only three characters, so A, B, C. You can still enter as many and it just keeps scrolling all the way to the right. So if you have to specify a maximum length for your input, then we are going to need another attribute called max length. So max length is equal to let's say five and then let's remove the size attribute we don't need that anymore so when you save it and reload it and i'll try one two three four five and that's it so it cannot accept any more inputs now a second type of input is let's say we want a password to be entered by the user so let's create a label for that password now, once again, the input is going to remain the same, the input tag, but this time the type will be equal to password. So password, and then once again, we're going to give a name. So let's say name is equal to you pass, so username pass, and then save it and reload it. So, okay, let me just quickly add a break tag. I have a break tag over here save it 
then reload it. So you have one password username and then the password. Now they would look the same, but check it out. When I type, start typing a password, it appears in bullets. So it serves the functionality that a password has to be hidden. So whenever you want to accept a password from a user, you need to specify the type attribute to be equal to password. Anyway, um, so just to quickly recollect, a form is created using a form tag and to receive input from the user, we use the input tags. And let's say if you want a text input such as a username or a first name, last name, we use the type attribute to be equal to text and a name is also given to an input tag. And if you want to specify the maximum length that the user can input, then you use it, you do it using the max length attribute. And finally, if you want the user to enter a password, then you need to give the type is equal to password. Now in the next video, let us understand how to create radio buttons and checkboxes. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.